Uh, I have two questions. Yes, uh, sir. First is, who is Mort? Sorry, hold on, hold on. Excuse me. Yeah, hold, just hold a sec. Excuse me, please. I'd like to point out no, that no. we have 10 more minutes. So, yeah. Okay, the first question is, who is Mort? You've referred to him several times. I'm not familiar with him. Um, yeah. uh, the second question is, is I'd like to, for you to speak to um, whites and liberals, especially inability in America to recognize racism among people of color. Sorry, what? To speak to whites and, uh, and liberals, especially inability to recognize racism in America amongst people of color and how that affects you and your position, Louis Farrakhan, and other related topics you've been speaking about today. I don't want to go into, uh, into Mort. Those that know who he is know. Those that don't, just, he's not, he's not relevant. He's just a bad guy. That's just forget about it. Now. Okay. Um, wait, 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 wait. Answer the second question. His second question was about why can't liberals and uh, so on recognize anti-Semitism or racism on the part of, of people of, of, of color. Well, okay. The reason is, the reason is that liberals, and especially Jewish liberals, have a tremendous hang-up and guilt about blacks. Instead of respecting them as human beings and not blacks or greens or anything else, They'll bend over backwards to show you, see, we love you really. And if we love you, maybe you'll love, love us too. I said before, I'll say it again. All people are really equal, but I mean really equal. If you're good, you're good, and if you're bad, you're bad, whether you're white, black, or polka dot. And anyone who is afraid to get up and condemn blacks for saying the same kind of things that if white said it, they'd be shrieking, is a bigot and has nothing but contempt for blacks. I'm a great believer in equality. That's why I treat Stokely okay. like I would treat... We got, we got five minutes left. I want to talk to you before I leave. Okay? Absolutely. You're a big liar, you know? Yeah, okay, go on, let's go. Give I can me. tell you... What you just said about Israel or whatever, my father was ambassador to Ivory Coast in Israel. I was there, okay? And you, you say you want to do peace side by side in a different country. This is not right, okay? I don't know who, where you, your country is and where the Jewish country is, but anyway, the land belongs to everybody. So don't stand it out there. You got all the police behind your hand or whatever and lie there, okay? So that's what I want to tell you. And get to your house here and leave. All right, that was an interesting statement. Next. Excuse me. He's next. Go on. Unless you... Don't say that the uh, people of color are racist against whites. Whites were never enslaved. Okay, that's a different point of view. Yeah, right. You're right. In other words, blacks can never be a racist. No question about that. Blacks are not racist. Of course, it's just... In Brooklyn, there was an ongoing boycott of Koreans by blacks. I want to tell you that if whites would be doing that and saying boycott Koreans, can you imagine what you would say? Well, I say the same thing. Don't tell me people are people, white or black, and there are bigots on both sides and of all use and cries. Yes.